Hi everyone, my name is Naya Bond. I'm a facilitator here at Lumen Circles and I'm thrilled to be here with you today to talk about how to provide feedback in the platform and how feedback plays a vital role in enhancing our community building and our self-reflection. To begin, I've taken you directly to our demo site to a sample week three homepage. Here you can see that every week you'll have two peers that you are pre-assigned to interact with. We use pre-assignment just to be sure that we are promoting effective community building and collaboration. Keep in mind that you can always respond to more than your two assigned peers, just never less. Once you know which fellows you should be responding to in a given week, the easiest way to get to the place where you need to respond and collaborate is to click the collaborate button on the left hand side of the screen. A quick note, you can also click on the assigned fellow name if they have posted their reflection. After carefully reading through the response and considering it, you can go to the very bottom of the screen where there is a text box, which is where you will include your feedback. In this text box, in addition to your own individual insights, we also encourage you to consider sharing resources both from the Lumen Library as well as from outside the platform, especially if there is relevant material that may be useful to the conversation or to the goals and ideas that your fellow has shared here. At this time, our primary modality for feedback is text. This is because text is ADA compliant. However, should you wish to include video feedback, we welcome that modality too. We simply ask that you do so only if you are willing to add captions that make the videos accessible. Tools such as Screencast-O-Matic, Zoom, and YouTube have auto-caption options that you can then edit to ensure correctness and clarity. Videos can definitely enhance the connections and community building on our circle, but we want to be sure that our feedback promotes belonging and inclusiveness for all participants. Now that we've talked about types of feedback, let's take a look at text feedback in action. You can see that I've already inserted a brief response here. It's just the beginning of a longer and more substantive response. I've already intentionally inserted some tags. I did this by typing a hashtag and starting to type the name of the tag I want to use. Once I take those two steps, a drop-down menu appears where I can select the tag I want to insert. Let's try an example with collaboration. The tags that you include can be celebratory, part of noticing the great work that a fellow has done and defining and exemplifying a practice in the shared reflection, or they can be constructive, naming and noticing a tag that perhaps a fellow forgot to give themselves credit for, or suggesting a tag that maybe wasn't part of the initial reflection, but could be useful for consideration. In both instances, we ask that you use what is called appreciative inquiry. This is a way of responding that is almost exactly as it sounds. We appreciate and admire the work being done in our circle, so we lead with that appreciation, especially when asking open-ended questions or soliciting clarification. We do this to avoid a deficit approach. Our intention is not to point out what is wrong or missing, but what is positive and possible. It's an important distinction and something that is at the core of our circle work. So I encourage everyone to review appreciative inquiry by going to the library, clicking on methodology, then clicking on appreciative inquiry specifically. Building a framework and foundation for appreciative inquiry will help enhance the iterative and evolving process that Lumen Circles engages and that's representative of our pedagogical evolution and growth. As I mentioned earlier, in addition to tags, we can also include suggested readings and resources to build more substantive feedback. When it comes to sharing library resources, I'll let you in on a navigation secret. I typically always have two windows open in my browser, one for the response that I am reading and one for the library, because it makes it easier to click between resources that I might wanna share and suggest. You may find this method helpful as well. If you decide that you'd like to suggest a reading or resource, you can create a hyperlink to that document, providing easy access and adding it to the suggested reading section. 
As an example, let's create a link to a caring resource. We'll use this first one, Who Cares? Developing a Pedagogy of Caring in Higher Education. You can simply pull up the resource, copy and paste the hyperlink, roll over where you'd like to include the resource in the text box, use the link icon in the top navigation bar, paste the link that you want to include, and voila! Now we've included tags and resources in our response. Sharing tags, readings, and resources are simple ways to enhance the feedback experience and continue to build opportunities for pedagogical growth and expansion. My personal feedback mantra is make it rich, robust, and regular, and all of these tips and strategies help us to do that. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to provide feedback in the platform, and I look forward to talking to you soon about other platform tools and techniques.